Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that is Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am Deb Chanel and happy 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 new year to each and every one of you all thank you thank you thank you for my new subscribers thank you for people coming on over to the house want to spread the love the cheer for the new year and as I put on my community um feed on my channel i wish each and every one of you all a happy new year and may you get all the things that you didn't get in 2019 settled may they come to fruition in 2020 okay just keep up the hard work Ugh. keep up the hard work keep believing in yourself and for you know it all your dreams will come true you just got to put that forth just got to put forth that first effort that's believing in yourself implementing and then capturing it all that's all it takes of, for, of course for the ones that are like me you got to put god first and then the rest will come naturally okay you just got to be willing and able and um put out that first step is the willing to get to where you want to be okay and 2020 that should be your goal but anyway Let's get on down here to this celebrity insider news that was brought out uh, around the Christmas holidays. But like I said, you know, I was just chilling over here. Now I'm sitting out here trying to put out some videos to last throughout the week. So I have to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm in the hustle and bustle back for 2020. Getting back to my people and what I do. My full time paying job, of course. And getting back into all of that action. But of course you know this is my second income. And we're trying to keep it flourishing as well. Alright and if anybody ever wanted to get out there and start a YouTube channel. Hey this is the time to do it. You just started it in the new month. And before you know it you can see how far you come by December 2020. If you have that personality go on. What you waiting for us? Express your opinion, opinions and your mind on whatever commentary you want to put out. Just be true to yourself and run your own show. Okay? But again, let's get on into this salacious story that was brought out in 2019, but I didn't get a chance to get to it. Uh, we have it from Ricky Mathers. She's one of the correspondents or the writers over there at Celebrity Insider uh, News Feed blogging site. And uh, she brings out a title as Real Housewives of Atlanta Guaranteed for Season 13. The players are Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, and Marlo Hampton because the producers have been pleased. Okay, I'm like, wait, 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 hold up, hold up now. What about Miss Candy? What about Miss Kenya? What about Nene, the OG? Okay. Yes, yeah, self-appointed queen as she pulled it. But I pulled her card on that title in 2019. Okay. Whether she gets it back out. Oh, never know. You just never know. Okay. The wheel is spinning. It's going. It's going. It's going. But we might be looking at her replacement right there. That's Marlo Hampton. Okay. Woo. I tell you. Be inviting these people to come on your self proclaimed show that you help start. And they end up taking your position now that's just my pun intended not in ricky mathers article but okay she if we go on into her article like i said she titled it uh displaying real housewives of atlanta guaranteed for season 13 portia williams cynthia bailey and marlo hampton please producers okay it goes in to say the real housewives of atlanta is ratings winner for bravo the Peach Holders continue to be the most watched franchise on network and guaranteed themselves a new season. So I don't know if anybody had informed you all before you got to my channel. But I'm telling you, they got a season 13 and the three star players. They already done officially verbally told that they're going to be back. That is right. Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, as well as Marlo Hampton. Now, you know, they've been giving Marlo Hampton uh free whim a free reign she's been uh displayed a lot on the shows lately 
especially in season 12 well 11 and 12 but you know they're gonna give a uh, portion her little scene where she gets married on the show as well as cynthia bailey though i'm still not understanding why we giving cynthia bailey another chance at romance because we saw that debacle with her and peter so i would think they would do something else like do tape her honeymoon or something because we already saw her got married and you know marlo just give us drama classy ashy trashy it don't matter what it is but we be sitting there right there for it and of course you know dennis mckinley poor supposed to be getting married and ain't none of us like my kindred spirits over here that float with me and we like mine that we don't want to see them get married but it just is what it is if they want to get married they want to do the darn thing who are we to stop them but okay portia we don't want to hit a wine and i know your sister lauren she pretty much told you on last episode last uh one we saw for december that aired on the 29th she ain't feeling dennis she sure ain't she mm-mm, she ain't got time for all that no ma'am she told you to slow your roll you know cynthia hell she's 52 53 she don't care no more she just want to be a thirst bucket she got her man on on verbally she got her man whether they jumped the broom in october 2020 i don't know it's still up in the air but Portia is the first one that is supposed to call herself getting hitched. But we'll see. Um, that'll be for season 13, of course. But getting back to the articles, all that was my sidebar. And you know that's how I get down sometimes. Do y'all like my, uh, I'm starting trying to lock my hair. I'm getting twist. Can you see it? Okay, that was just enough. <laughs> trying to let y'all know i'm trying to get some twists some lots going on in my life okay because I, I, i'm just tired of dealing with my hair today the truth but that's just my side but once again you know i get down like that i'm still gonna do it to the day i die okay but it is just what it is but going back to the article it says the shining stars who please producers are reportedly Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, and Marlo Hampton. Just as I said, stated before, Portia bared it all with her heavily, no, I'm sorry, her happily ever after being torn apart right before the audience's eyes as she dealt with finding out that Dennis McKinley cheated on her while she was pregnant. Now, side boy, I'm still trying to figure out. Could they still didn't let us know? They trying to say that that other woman that came to, um, uh, Candy's OG restaurant, you know, that fake scene they had us preview and, and, and just thinking we're going to believe all this shit wasn't just tape for us to be seeing something. We knew that. We, but was she the one that slept with Dennis? You know, they never told us which person it was. She's saying it wasn't her. But Cynthia, not Cynthia, Portia still didn't give us the tea. We wanted to know the tea who Dennis slept with. It, that's still out okay we still got drama on that they talking about more drama i want to know who did he sleep with okay so we can side out that person but they were saying it wasn't that uh young lady i can't remember her name but she was on some show uh, some kind of um uh, reality show but it didn't, really didn't get picked up and to say my i think her name started with an s but i can't think of it fact checkers if you know who i'm talking about put it down in the comment section okay but anyway yeah they said she said it wasn't her okay so we're still trying to figure out who is or hell i'm still trying to figure out who was the lady that dennis mckinley got down with and why didn't we not putting her out on front street so we'll know who she is in case people that such as myself live in atlanta we can catch him out in those streets doing some foul things uh portia we can get back with you and tell you okay but marlo ham then you know she know these streets out here and she got reliable sources so she may know and be able to tell you honey he cheating on you again don't put that ring on your finger but it is what it is uh portia wants her man and she's gonna do everything to keep her man whether he cheats on her now or later or down the road it doesn't matter we're going to move on from there. But um, going back to the article, it said the two also filmed scenes hashing it out in therapy. And viewers would get to see Portia forgive her cheating bow and get reengaged. Okay, I'm like, you engaged or you not engaged? But that's another whole story. Done did several videos on Portia and Dennis. And if she want to um, go with the uh, cheating man who lies, cheats, and he probably steals allegedly you know what i'm saying let her go on let her get her her dollars from true entertainment and let's feel this debacleness of a marriage uh 
a ceremony that they're going to give to us in season 13. Okay. That was in my poem, not in this particular lady's article. Okay, then we got Portia. Um, she says, Portia has shared every single part of her breakup with Dennis and then them getting back together. She doesn't hide anything, and the show execs love that, as source told Radar Online. Although Cynthia was last to be given a pickup letter, the supermodel is bringing, with, bringing it with her drama with frenemy Nene Leakes. Now, we all know, this is my side again, that, that that mess ain't gonna last. That's uh, her husband, a soon to be husband, portrayed this old standoff or instigation between uh, Nene Leakes and Cynthia Bailey. Don't nobody really care. We want uh, Cynthia to have a backbone and show herself, but as you can see, as season 12 is getting, right, getting wrapped up to end, Probably in a few more episodes. Cynthia ain't doing nothing. She ain't doing nothing. Even though he put the batteries in her backpack. She ain't forming like the Energizer Bunny. She ain't going, 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 going. No. She's just sitting still. Like the batteries are dying or something. I tried to give her her props. But she failed me miserably. That's why she's on my bench. Mouth taped up. And she's sitting there looking pretty. That's how we got her over there. Okay. Then we go back to the article. Uh, it says the insider went on to say. Cynthia has really had some great moments this season. Everyone likes her. I'm still trying to figure out myself. This is my side. But what great moments are they talking about? Because I didn't see anything. I saw Kenya Moore getting on her ass. Straighten her out. I seen uh uh, Eva trying to do a little something something you know even though she like slash dished her slash hang with her I saw Marlo cutting up on Miss Cynthia hell Portia could have got a little dig or two in it as you know as well but did she step up no Cynthia did not step up she fell flat on her face okay the only storyline she gave us was really about her daughter and her daughter you can have a tribute to her she was very well solidified telling her mama how she gets down in her sexuality and she was just a boss telling her mama like clear cut this is who I am this is who I'm gonna embrace and deal with her mama okay but goddamn you know of course i don't really think she is i think she's just testing the waters i think she just stepped in the later pool and she'll be back probably next season trying to date a man okay that's just my pun and ten. i just you know people get out there and they get to be curious you know and they have to figure it out and curiosity just got her on fleek right now okay so we're just gonna give her time to you know settle into herself because i really don't think uh she's gonna stay that way long i think she's just been selective because her mama been getting dogged out by men and maybe she had a rough patch with a man as well and so she said well let me just go try the women's pool and see what i can get but little do she know just like heterosexuals can be dogging in a relationship I mean a man could dog out a woman or a woman can dog out a man honey you can get the same thing over there in a same sex relationship still be dogged out by your sex okay this is what it is i'm telling you but anyway um moving on from that situation going strictly back to the article it said um her engagement her fights are driving the drama yes manufactured drama that mike hill had set up sent there to portray and like i said she need to go get some acting lessons and come with it much better because right now i give her a d minus okay on her acting skills trying to make like she that chick she would check you and all like that because portia would just sit there and read her for feel and cynthia couldn't do nothing about it i'm still waiting on cynthia to try to twerk right okay and how, how many seasons we've been waiting on her to twerk right okay still Still can't get it. She like Candy over there. Can't really sing and can't really dance. But she's a great businesswoman. Okay. Hey. Candy needs to just be served up what she can do. But anyway. Going back to the article. We got Marlo has been a friend of the show for nearly a decade. However. It looks like she may be inching closer to becoming a full time housewife. Between her spats with Eva Marcel. And her ongoing feud with Kenya Moore. Marlo is right on the money. And I'm telling you. I'm enjoying every little time I get to see her go across my screen she giving me something okay she pretty much done solidify nini to be off the show in a sense because nini being mean on the show she being mean on the streets of atlanta because too many people have gotten her you know pulled her to a side and they have nothing 
they have gotten nothing from Nene but rudeness, okay? Now, evidently, somebody done bumped Nene's head or something. She done bumped her own head and feel she don't need her fans. She don't need her followers. She don't need her viewership from us, okay? And she's just treating us like trash. But lo and behold, do she not know we the ones are the ones that keep her relevant? We are the ones that sit there and watch her, especially when she's being featured on an episode? I don't know. Somebody need to send her a telegram and let her know. Pipe down, okay? Combat being friendly to your people that call themselves liking you or your day ones. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, moving on from Nene, okay? But going back to the article, it said that... um. Marlo just knows how to stir up trouble on the show. Yes, she do. Marlo uh, is full-time drama, and she is getting recognized for this. The source field. Yes, she has brought it. Uh, speaking of Kenya, the mother of one may have taken a pay cut to come back to the show, but it looks like she'll be getting a raise for the next season because she is in another one. Because she is another one bringing all her relationship drama to the show. No, she not. I don't know why she felt that and wrote this in her article. But uh, Kenya's only giving us what she want to give us. Okay, Mark has really been the true trooper out there. He been coming in and showing out on her ass. I mean, just showing out. And, you know, he even got him a little following fan base. Because I'm one of them. I'm like, tell it. Tell it like it is, Mark. Tell us the setup. Tell us what you really signed up for. So, everybody. I can be looking at Kenya like really really Kenya you went through all that girl you should just went on let him uh got his sperm and ins- you know inseminated your egg and went on about your business and waited really prayed for your man and having a forever after romance relationship because you know I know your biological clock was ticking you felt like you needed wanted desired a baby you got it and now you're trying to drag this man through mud you're trying to make us think he's this awful person just to play a storyline this down third but i'm like "Mm -mm, those who can see those who can hear we know what's going on okay because we still waiting for you to produce that certificate of marriage okay let alone let's not even talk about a prenup that you did not solidify now what woman in their right mind you a corporation as you say since you've been 17 years old would not put up her assets and have it secure and tightly secure where no man or if you want to change your sexuality f- another female woman come take your assets from your daughter or from yourself you gonna think we're that stupid Mm-mm, honey no ma'am but anyway moving on from that situation um it says fans are able to see exactly what has led up to the divorce we still have not found out what led up to the divorce we know both of them have bad attitudes and we definitely has seen that mark don't want to be bothered let alone put in the same room with kenya moore there's no love there's no affection there's no embracing there's just no solitude of this is my wife i love her and i'm going to do whatever i can to keep her mentality going on it is void of all of that okay but anyway, the question that she leaves in her article, she's asking, how do you like this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta so far? Now, f- really, I can give it a B minus. And the only reason I'm giving it that high of a grade is because we got a mark up there showing his true color. Some people say he's showing his ass, but I'm like, it is what it is. Who are you dealing with? Kenya Moore. So you got to be like, ooh, something got to come out of it for the negative. But it's giving me my drama and my entertainment. So I am entertained. So he's definitely done his job. Have Kenya did her job? I could say, you know, at first I was against Kenya. And I still am against Kenya when she made that debacle debacleness or uh, debacleness of uh, ruining uh, Marla Hampton's uh, wig event coming in now with a four or five piece man band. I mean, are you serious? Really, can you? But then when I thought about it, I just gave, I chuckled, I laughed my butt off. I'm like, only can you would think of something that deranged to come in now and bring the spotlight on her. It was funny for a moment, but then I had to get back in my real thoughts and say, no. This lady was really mean and Marlo Hampton was trying to bring another brand out. She was trying to endorse it. She wanted the people to celebrate with her, embrace what she was doing. And this is her revenue. This is her. And Kenya had no right to do that. Okay, no right at all. And then going to promote her own stuff. But then I got to think also that was production. They wanted drama. 
can you uh, feel that uh, checklist for that piece of drama they got on the show and the ratings I'm sure was off the roof but just talking about a personality a, dis uh, a demeanor of a person and to have that reckless thought in your mind that you're just going to destroy this for this person and her brand that's unacceptable maybe if you want to do a dinner party or something to that nature that's okay because we can just feed you and then ask security to get rid of you but to just sit there when this lady trying to brand a brand name uh, when it comes to wigs or her endorsement of a wig product, we really wanted, I wish they would have covered more footage on letting us see the wigs, letting, you know, people try on the wigs and then market it as, you know, where we can go and purchase uh, the wigs if anybody was likely wanting to do so. But, you know, Kenya came in there with that four or five piece man, woman band and that kind of like, you know, it hit all this shit went out the window pretty much. Okay. But y'all get down in them comments. That's where you all decide and decipher and make your own comments about the article that I just read and gave you my visuals and the content what did you think about those three coming back and will they be playing as real players and what would happen to the rest of the team like Eva uh Candy and Nene okay and you got Tanya Sams out there too as a friend of the friend and Shamia Moore I mean are they coming back because my thing like if you bring Marlo and she come in as a full-time peach holder somebody gonna be cut in some revenue or they're gonna be uh, bumped down or demoted to a friend of a friend of a friend you see what I'm saying okay but again get down in those comments tell me what y'all thought about it if you care to if you like to and see who's gonna be our main players other these than these three that already done got signed off by Andy Cohen and the other executives as bringing them back for more drama for season 13 let me know who you think may not be coming back okay just on the street from what i hear they trying to oust out nene lease but i don't know okay but i'm gonna do a video on it before i go to bed tonight and that's gonna be my last one for tonight okay so y'all thank you for uh coming over to my channel thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking my comments and sharing my videos and i definitely need you all to continue to do that throughout the year okay <sighs> Well, I'm tired now. I'm going to go on to another video. So, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and Happy New Year. Make this be your year 2020. If you want to get that house, go and get it. If you want to get that car, go and get it. If you want to save some money, go and do it. If you want to clear out your bills, go on and do it. Go on and do it. Or you want to just be a good person for the next year or so just to see if you can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Bye-bye.